What is up, my Red Rave Nation families? It's your boy Deuces. We are back again. What is up, Creek Squad? What is up, YouTube community? That's a lot of names, but what's up, guys? Anyways, look, this is what I got planned for today. I'm going to tell you what I got planned for today. I'm going to do this video. Then I'm going to watch YouTube and probably watch some Netflix. So if anybody's got any good ideas what good Netflix videos, hit me up in the comments with them. I'm open for anything, guys. This is your boy. This is your messenger, in other words. But I'm not done yet, see? What I'm about to say now is actually going to juggle your minds a little bit. You remember whenever Psychobabble actually talked about name-calling? I, I know, but you got to listen to me for a second. I, he's been doing it a lot. I get that. One hundos. But look, this is what I'm going to say. This guy is touching every side of the fence, if you get what I mean. If you know, you know. So now we have Psychobabble yesterday admitting that he actually takes people's IP addresses. So now we have him going after somebody totally different because he forgot about Stone Dead. He did. And I don't know why, but he did. Maybe it was too much trouble because Stone Dad actually had people go into his live stream and give Stone Dad a shout out to in front of everybody. All 116 people watching. Yeah, 116. Now, I mind you, about a month ago, he was doing about 400 views on his lives. He's not doing that no more, guys. So his time on YouTube is kind of like a clock. Tick, tock, tick, tock. When your time's up, over, blow. Yes, that was Eminem's lyrics. And yes, I took a part of Upchurch's song and put in there. Because I felt like it was a proper spot. See, the thing about Psycho Bible is he tries to make us mad. But he doesn't do it. Us going to his panel doesn't do him no justice besides get him views. Because guess who's in the comments, guys? Creek Squad's in the comments. Red Rebel Nation's in the comments. YouTube community in general, which Creek Squad makes up a huge part of the YouTube community. Not fretting about that. So see what I'm, this whole point of this whole conversation is, is what he is doing, it's slowly catching up to him by his YouTube channel. And we've said that before that this was actually going to happen, that he was actually going to lose subscribers and people wasn't going to pay him no mind because he can't have a YouTube channel without talking about certain people. And he's been doing it now forever, and the person hasn't even talked about the dude, and he's still on his dick. That's it. Point blank. Anyways, guys, I got a video for you guys today. And this psycho babble goes way too far. Once again, how many times is it going to take before YouTube just says, look, your content is going against every single rule. See, there comes a point to where you've gone too far. Once you start, once you have stuff to get people's IPs and you trap people by starting a podcast whenever they click on your link, you can get, he can get every bit of your information. So everybody that's ever clicked on that link to talk, he has your IP address and he knows where you live. He knows your names. He knows what kind of internet you have, everything. Yes, that is the truth. Now, before you go shaking your head and you're like, no, Cycle Babble's a good dude. Well, let me, t let me tell you something else. He has said something at the very end of this video that should strike a lot of people's nerves. See, we've done proved a lot of things. But this video goes to prove something more. And the stuff with Xanime, Psychobabble, we're done with that. Move on. Move on with your YouTube channel. Get away from people that bring you views. Anyways, guys, 
Love yourself, like yourself, be nothing but yourself. Like, subscribe, channel, it's highly appreciated. Let's get right into the video. Oh my God. How embarrassed, guys, look, how you, now, let me, let me, let me tell you something. Whenever I woke up in the mornings, whenever I was younger, I grew up to Johnny Cash. I mean, at three o'clock in the morning, people would be playing Johnny Cash and other country artists, old time artists, Willie Nelson, Johnny Cash. That's how I woke up anymore. And yes, my family got up at three o'clock in the morning. We'd stoke the stove. We would do whatever. And of course your boy was still sleeping. <laughs> So in deer season rolls around, my grandpa would come in there and say, Grandma's got biscuits and gravy and pancakes ready. You boys ready to get up? Yeah, I'm ready to get up because it's deer season. I always look forward to going and spending time with Grandma and Grandpa at deer season. I absolutely loved it. So those are the part of my childhoods I actually, actually look back on and I enjoy. And all of us has that part in life where they enjoy, correct? This guy right here, is a spitting image of somebody who is on drugs. And I can say that 100% confidently, with confidence, confidently, confidence that he is. Now pay attention to the way this guy starts talking towards in this video. It's like he is in a psychosis that he's stuck in and he doesn't know what he said. Pay attention, let's continue. And there we have it. <laughs> I guess we can uh, lower that a little bit, huh? What's happening, guys? So, <laughs> you know, I didn't think I'd run into anybody dumber than Uncle Will. But, yeah, there's another one that's even dumber. Only he's a little bit dangerous because he seems to be a little over-invested. And, you know. Over-invested? Look, you have an, you have a cabinet. That you say you sold now because people was actually on your ass about the IP address thing. So today you make a video and you say you sold it two days ago now. So, but you said you kept two proximity servers to get footprints from people that joins your podcast. So who's the dangerous one? You talk about going to people's houses and beating the shit out of them. You threaten people on a daily basis. You flap your gums nonstop about how you're going to do things, how people should get off the internet, how people should do everything they need to do in their lives, but yet you're doing exactly what you're telling people not to do. And it's, it's hysterical. It's funny because I'm sitting here watching an idiot about to put his YouTube channel down the drain because he thinks he has to be a badass on the internet to get people's views because that's how you start your channel. See, I told a story a while back ago about your YouTube channel. If you want a YouTube channel, you make, you make it from what you wanted it, correct? So you start your YouTube tran channel on drama. See what I'm saying? And who doesn't like drama? Who doesn't like to watch a train wreck waiting to happen? And that's what we're doing, guys. So if you want to go subscribe to this humbled character that takes our IP addresses and doxes people and stuff with their IP addresses and blames it on other people with fake accounts, this is your boy, Cycle Babble. You see, what Cycle Babble doesn't tell you is everything this guy has said has led to this guy being 100% fake. He goes on forward to say that he actually likes to get people's addresses. There's actually a stream of him saying that anybody who clicks on this link, I have your IP address, which is your home address, basically. He traces you back to where you live. He can tell where you worked at by your name. We all know that you can run a check on people's names and get your phone number or whatever else, and there's a such thing called Google Earth. Brian Upchurch actually told us about it. You can see a lot of stuff. I haven't tried it, but it's not for me. So anyways, guys, let's see what Psycho Babble has to say. You know, some of you well know, thanks to Ryan Upchurch, uh, Xanamay's got a bunch of lunatics just going crazy 
about her and stalking her uh, outside of YouTube. Outside of YouTube, Brian. They're stalking her outside of YouTube, Brian. You're going to fix it, buddy. You're going to fix it. Uh, this particular lunatic um, is a dumb shit. Okay. He's another one that if he had one brain cell less than what he has, he'd shit his pants because he wouldn't, he, he wouldn't know it was time to go. I mean, this guy has been raging. I mean, raging because he doesn't understand the difference between a nickname and a surname. You see, my surname is James, but my family my family calls me Jim. In much the same way, Zaname <laughs> sister would have a nickname and a surname. You stupid moron. What? Look. Hold on. Hold on, guys. I gotta get my composure. Look. Guys, how do you go? Do you have, let, let me ask you guys something. Do you guys have a surname? Do you have a ma'am name, I guess? Because I don't. I have my birth name. And then I have a nickname, which is Deuces. So, you, does, you having a surname, how do you get a surname? And if people has a surname, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. It's just like I used to go to solo stores and get candy. Do you see how old that sounds? Do you see how that sounds? Now, whether that made sense to you guys, I don't know, but the people that know solo stores are, they know exactly what my analogy was actually meaning to make. So, sir, whatever, you're living in a past life that you have no responsibilities in this life. You act like you look like you're living in an out of body experience right now. You are on 100% psychosis. That's what you're on. I'm just going to say it like it is once again, because that's what we do best. But now, before I go any further with this, why don't you go on to tell us what this guy is doing so bad that you haven't already done to everybody on the internet? Anyways, let's see what this fool has to say. You stupid moron let me show you this idiot i'm talking about okay anime since nobody else is making videos about this shit i will okay first of all i didn't even want to make videos i've been trying to get people to look at this for last month but nobody <laughs> wants because Everybody else has got sense enough to know people have a surname and a nickname. You know, it's a shortening. The, 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 the nickname is usually the shortening of the surname. Einstein. To lose their channel, I guess. So I'll expose it. And the only person going to be losing a channel is lunatics like you. Let's start with your fucking lies, okay? You made a GoFundMe when you went out on, uh, I believe it was 310. You went out to get your cousins. You made a GoFundMe for them while you were still out there. You set up that GoFundMe. Not only did you spell your cousin's name wrong, everyone go look. You spelled it Tanya. Now all of a sudden her name's, and you spelled it wrong twice in the GoFundMe account. And her name's <laughs> Tatiana all of a sudden, not Tanya. Why'd you get. <laughs> How do you get to be that? Look, if anybody knows body language, watch Cycle Babble how he when goes to grab his drink. That is 100% somebody who is actually nervous about what's about to be said. Now, his body reaction speaks louder than words. That's what they say anyways. But now Cycle Babble goes on to actually talk to this dude like he's a complete dumbass. 
Why do you talk to him like this? Well, hold on. Let me let me answer Psycho Babble's question in third person. Now, Psycho Babble is actually the type of person that if you don't come with 100% facts, then you're in diapers, I guess. <laughs> That's what he says. That's actually his analogy because he cannot come up with anything else to say besides them few things, see? So whenever he is on his podcast, and I've said this before, he has people that talks, talks for him. Have you guys noticed that? I have. And I've brought it to light. Now, hopefully you guys have noticed it. If you haven't, pay attention to his podcast about how, much, how many people actually answer his questions that people ask for him. Now, let's get, for, let's get the wheels turning a little bit because I talk too much. But now, whenever you go a little bit further into this, this guy right here is talking on this video, not Psychobabble, but this other guy has done nothing to Psychobabble. Mind you that. So what, what Psychobabble is about to unleash here is 100% poison on the YouTube community. And whoever sticks up for this guy and hears his analogies about stuff and tells him that it's a good job that he's doing is absolutely trying to get him destroyed. It is the opposite way around, and I've said it. Everybody's telling Psychobabble he's doing a good job. And he's not. He's destroying his YouTube channel. He's destroying his YouTube reputation, which started with Ryan Upchurch. He was a Ryan Upchurch fan. We all know this. Ryan Upchurch is... Look, Psycho Bible. Ryan Upchurch is smoking a blunt in his rose room. Doing millionaire things. With his black wand. That's it. He's going to build a mafia... Dang outside the back of his house, for God's sakes. Psychobabble, look, you are not about that life. You act like you have money, and whether you do or not, hey, hate the player, don't hate the game, correct? So if we want to go down that road, I'm done talking because there's nothing else for me to say. I'm going to let this man speak, and your actions are going to be speak louder than words, just like you've told everybody in your podcast, Psychobabble. So let's see what Psychobabble has to say. Damn dumb. And still function in life. I, I, I can't understand how you people do even tie your shoes. How the hell do you make it from day to day? And I think to myself, okay, this dumb shit probably couldn't even find Zanime's ad. Guys, look, you know what that is? That is called 100% mental abuse. Whether a person has a mental disorder, it doesn't matter at that point. Because it means that that person is doing, this guy's doing nothing wrong, guys. But psychobabble is mentally abusing this guy already. And this guy hasn't even talked. Mind you, and it's not even about psychobabble. It's about Zana May. And this guy does not go out of his words at all to actually talk about Psycho babble, not one time, mind you that. Anyways, guys, let's see what see what he has to say. Dress if he needed to. So is is he a real threat to her? But then I realized, yeah, yeah, he probably could find an address. Look at the shit you do. This knucklehead's entire YouTube channel is nothing but him raging about her daring to use her cousin's shortened. Name of Tatiana, Tanya, Tanya, you know, like Jim for James and Bill for William and Pat for Patrick, Patrick, do your friends call you Pat or do they call you Patrick, you imbecile? And I mean an imbecile. This is just the, the nonsense you got to deal with with these people. Uh, it's just a complete retard. I, I, I don't know what else you can say about somebody. That oh, hold on. So, what did you just call this guy you don't even know? Don't you think you have a community out there that has a mental disorder for real, for real? But see, Cycle Babble, this is the reason why you piss me off. Because now we're going down a road that I didn't want to go down. See... You say you have to have checks before you cash them, correct? 
Well, show us all your receipts for everything you have said you've done for your community. You've said a lot of things, but yet you have people behind you that is not really behind you, okay? So before I go any further, I'm just going to stop because people see what you're doing, Psycho Babble. You're trying to play a side and play another side, but stay in the middle like I do. We're neutral. I've said that on your podcast. What else are you going to say about me? You haven't said one damn thing about me, and I'm still ripping you an ass. And I will continue to rip you an ass because I don't think you belong on YouTube. And am I against council culture? Not one, not one percent. But whenever you're dropping poison in something that I enjoy doing and entertaining an audience, trying to grow my channel, I can't grow my channel with people like you in the YouTube community. You see? So at that point in time, I have a beef with you as a creator, just like I said yesterday. As a person, I don't know you. But your creation is slandering people, belittling people, and calling people names that should not be called on the internet. But now, hold up. If someone famous goes and talks like this, oh, they need to, they need to get their channels struck and taken down, correct? Do you hear yourself? I don't really think you do because I believe 100% everything you said about Ryan Upchurch, you're doing yourself to cover of everything you said because the one who talks about what they're do what someone else is doing is probably doing the negligence themselves. And you will see through this video he, this guy is 100% psychosis, guys. At the end of this video, he doesn't even know what he said. Anyways, guys, let's continue to see what he has to say. This damn stupid. I guess we'll listen to more of this idiot. And I mean idiot. Do you not know you're the one that wanted to play his video? Do you not get that, Psycho Babble? <laughs> this guy is totally a piece of work, guys. If this guy, this guy is a gum on the bottom of your shoes whenever you step and you're like, you got a new pair of Nikes on or boots or whatever, and you go to scrape it off, you're like, damn, he's still stuck. That's what this guy is. He can't move on with his life because he's stuck on his old fucking ways. 100%. Anyways, guys, let's see what he has to say. Get a wrong anime. How come you don't know how to spell your cousin's name right? She knows how to spell it just fine. She spelled it twice. Are you that dumb? You can't be because you're... Calm down. Psycho Babble, calm down. Ow. We don't need you raising your voice. You, you, we don't need you having to go take a Xanax to calm your ass down. You see what I'm saying? So continue to see what this guy has to say to you. Supposedly it, it, it's not that she misspelled it, you dickweed. Tanya is short for Tatiana. And you notice this guy had to look it up to make sure that what he was saying was correct. Good job, Psycho Babble. Good job, because now you're checking your own work. You're doubting yourself. We love it. Anyways, guys, let's continue to see what he has to say. Same way. Pat is short for Patrick. Patrick. For NASA and the National Guard. Yeah, works for both. Why does the National Guard let you do all this? Let you lie? <laughs> they didn't let her do anything because uh, she's a human being with her own life. You know, you're allowed to do whatever you want. You know, so aren't you, as long as you're not breaking the law. Thanks so much. <laughs> Why haven't they fired you yet? <laughs> but getting people's IP addresses and doxing people is not against the law, correct? Psycho Babble, you make absolutely no points when you try so hard. So I'm going to give you an A for trying because dude, look at yourself. You are falling apart and I and all of us love it. Continue to see what you have to say. <laughs> Let's talk about cow guard anime. That's part of this whole thing, isn't it? What do you do with cow guard? You're a emergency management trainer, right? You do live event exercise. What, what's it to you? Uh, honest to God, what is it to you? What she does at her job, moron. 
exercise, simulated events. That's what you do, right? If not, get at me. I'll apologize. And you better. You're gonna start apologizing. I'm fixing to drag your ass. I know right where you live. I can come straight to your front door, Patrick, Pat for short. We do this all. Psychobabble. You don't gotta see say how you know where he lives. I done said it. So go ahead, continue to slander this guy, but for no apparent reason. But that is your job. Live law enforcement training events. You've made your last video about this girl, and you're going to leave her alone, or I'm going to beat knots on your head. For real, like for real, for real. Not even, not even kidding. You're awful damn close. You, you'd be a perfect example to set. That's well, so let me get this correct. You 100% just literally just violated this guy because you thought he was being a badass, right? But what you did is you slandered this guy, belittled this guy, mentally abused this guy like you have your past wife. Is that whoa, uh, deuces. You're going too far now. I told you I had stuff to say. I told you that there was stuff that was going to be brought out when the time is right. So, but psychobabble. I thought you told everybody what you did, my boy. You see where I'm getting at? So instead of me saying, hey, you're going to get off the internet or I'm just going to expose even more. I'm going to say, hey, you're doing the wrong thing. Leave people alone, stop belittling them and mentally abusing them and leave my YouTube community alone. Leave the Creek Squad alone. Quit talking trash about everybody. Red Rebel Nation, quit talking trash about us. That's all we want because we're not the boss. We're not the boss of YouTube, but you think you are. So go ahead and tell us what else you have to say. What it states. Is that what this is? Are you part of that? Do you have people pushing this narrative for you? Other people? Oh, yeah. There's like 8,000 people willing to work with Xanime on a conspiracy to, to, to mess with you and Ryan Upchurch. Moron. What does CalGuard think about all the drama you're getting? Well, I think that once, the if you bother her at her job, I think some guys in uniform are going to come talk to you. That's I don't think they will. You see what I'm saying? Now you're getting on your storytelling, which is not that good. You have to have other people tell your stories for you. I've done said that. But see, now, this is where things get a little tricky. Because you're about to end this video and say something that, well, you probably should apologize on video yourself. I'm just saying. So now, before I go and I spill the beans, what's going to be said on this video at the end? Just, just what? Watch this idiot just run his YouTube channel. Continue. That's what I think. And I'm sure there's some veterans, some war veterans, that live near you that wouldn't th take too kindly of you dragging a female war vet, buddy. Pat, Patrick. Those words are like a sword. You don't need a gun. All you need is your words, correct? So let me tell you something. Don't use those words again because those words actually scared us. You can tell this guy is really scared. Do you see how you are acting? Everything you have said leads up to you being on medication. And maybe next time before you go and you have psychosis over something, maybe you should not make a video because your actions speak 100% psychosis. You're staring in your computer screen. You're lost. Are you on a, are you on a Google binge? Are you studying Illuminati in the pyramid, psychobabble? Come on, man. Anyways, guys, let's continue to let this guy run his YouTube channel. Why is Cal Garden in Placer County? Well, maybe you want to ask them.
Maybe you'd want to go talk to Calgard about that. Wouldn't you? Arresting people for drugs. Isn't that a local law enforcement issue? Hmm? So why are they there? I got news for you there, Nimble Nuts. Somebody that would work on the safety team. Who says Nimble? What is Nimble Nuts? Can anybody explain to me what Nimble Nuts is? <laughs> that makes absolutely no sense. But continue to tell us what you're trying to get at, Psycho Babble. Wouldn't have a clue what other departments were up to. I wouldn't have a clue. It's a pretty big organization, that Cal Guard. They have a lot of divisions. You know, government, agency, where you got to pass a background check to work there. Like an extensive one. Something you couldn't do with those uh, charges you have. You know what I mean? Pat? They're pushing drugs and fentanyl programs in the Placer County schools where Kylie came up missing at. She didn't come up missing at my Why, Calgar, school? why are you doing Listen to this idiot. Kylie didn't even go to the Placer County school. She was homeschooled, you moron. You're a moron. Just, just a dumb shit. Doing it. Why isn't the sheriff's doing it? Why aren't the police doing it? Why are Go give them a call. It's not her call. She's not in charge of them. She works for the safety crew. Are you doing it? Why aren't you? Psycho Babble, why are you? Why are you acting like you don't even know what you're saying right now? Should you go to the hospital? Is that what you should do? Because you're a 100% on drugs right now you're 100 in a psychosis that you don't even you're look at you you're lost get off the internet stop trying to blame your unwell being on people that is better than you i yes i said it anybody who slanders people and belittles people like you do every single day you are toxic to the youtube community and the youtube families 100%. You are a habitual liar. And I think, honestly, personally, I have no a problem with you personally. As a creator and as an unhealthy creator on the internet and YouTube, I think you do not belong on the internet. You continue to dox people and blame it on other people. And you've already said and admitted openly that you have the stuff to find out about everybody. So that makes you a dangerous person on the internet. You're probably the first guy on the internet to ever come forward and say, hey, I got your internet or I got your IP address. I know where you live at. I'm going to come to your house. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. That's the words of psychobabble, not me. See, I grow up the way that other people has grown up as well. We don't look for problems. We don't come to you and look for problems. You're the type of guy to want to talk shit because you want somebody to come do something to you or your home to actually put them in jail. That way you have a reason why you can say, hey, somebody actually came to my house and done something. I feel like I'm a superstar now. That's what you actually want someone to do. But see, that tells me that you got all that equipment. That tells me 100% actually what you're about and who you are. And if you know, you know. I'm not going any further with that. But if you know, you know. Anyways, guys, let's continue to see what the city has to say. Stay run. Why are the feds controlling you, anime? <laughs> now it's anime. Now, I, I'm not going to, we're just not going to even bother listening to any more of this dipshit. Thank God I'm tired of hearing you talk. You are the most cringiest person on the internet. Hey, look, Cinema Shogun. This, you're better than this dude. Plain and simple. And I'm going to say it right now. You are better than this dude. The videos I made about you was, well, those stick. But still, you're better than this dude. Okay? So let's continue to see what this guy has to say. And let's let this guy really show us who he really is. Let's continue. Shit. But just to show you, Ryan Upchurch, the shit you caused and the shit you're not going to ignore and pretend like you didn't do.
You're not just going to like go on being Ryan for a while and just act like none of this shit ever happened because I'm going to remind everybody I can every single day what you did and show everybody how manic and out of control you were and show everybody the damage it caused every day. But you're not doing anything, correct? You're, you're not doing nothing, Cycle Babble. The guy that gave his theory and his mind on a case and actually said what he said, that's him speaking his mind. That's him giving his opinion. That's him lending his opinion, you see? This is different because now look at you. Look at you. You are 100% on a psychosis right now. But go ahead and continue to run your YouTube channel. Let's continue. This guy's entire channel is nothing but videos ragging about Xanime. And he, that was his last one he's going to make. So what's going to happen if he makes another one? Do you want to go ahead and tell us that? Okay, let's continue. That's the last one, buddy. There won't be another one. I mean, what a jerk. Look at this guy. You, who's going to say this guy is not on drugs right now? This guy is on 100% psychosis. Now, psychobabble, before you go and say anything else, dude, look at yourself. And watch when he says this about somebody. Watch whenever he does some more mentally abusing and tries to state a point, but really he probably hurt his YouTube channel. And if anybody has the right opinion and the right mind, this guy shouldn't have subscribers. Unless you want people like this for you to look up to and to give you videos every day. I'm talking about Psycho Babble. Go ahead, Psycho Babble. You have the stage right now. I mean, I don't know how in the hell you get to be that big of an idiot. We're talking about somebody you don't even know. Let's continue. Look at this guy's channel. Nothing but Xanime. Every freaking video. Look at your channel. Nothing but Ryan Up Church for the past month. Let's continue. Ryan Up Church. Every video, Xanime. And you see, he's just a goddamn lunatic. He can't get one thing right. So damn stupid. Okay, only way you know him is because you dox the guy. Let's continue. He doesn't know that, that every there's lots of names out there that have a short version or a shortened version, especially. Especially people from coming from the Baltics. Because those names are not only hard to spell, but they're hard to pronounce. Idiot. Drop the link. Somebody wants to talk about it. Uh, oh, eh, I'll share another little video with you. This ought to. This. Why don't you go ahead and do this? Because you probably should have just ended your video because now you're about to say something that you're going to regret for the rest of your life. Let's continue. This one will hurt uh, Crack Squad's feelings. Let me just hurt their feelings real quick. Let me tell you something. It takes a lot more than somebody that the Creek Squad doesn't even care about to hurt their feelings, okay? But anyways, let's let's continue. You don't get to see the rest, faggots. What? What did you just say? Did you just do a boo-boo? Do you need your diaper changed? Do you need an, a higher IQ? <laughs> because what you just did is unforgivable. You see? You just said a name that should not be said in public internet or wherever else because now you're passing judgment with the word you see what i'm saying just like freedom of speech you, you get where i'm getting out here 
<laughs> you fucked up, buddy. Anyways, guys, let's continue to see this guy in psychosis. My face. Are you going to say something? Because listen to this jerk. Listen to what this dude has to say. And I'm excited, guys. This is the best day of my life. Let's continue. Fans will, though. They're going to see a lot of cool shit. Once I get done kicking Ryan up church's ass, we'll get down to doing some entertaining shit. But I got some work to do right now. Are, are you going to end the video? What are you doing here? Because you look like you're lost, buddy. Anyways, guys, let's continue. I just, for the life of me, cannot imagine how anybody could be so damn stupid to not know that Tanya is a shortened for Tatiana. Just how he's got like five videos ranting about that, by the way. That's how damn dumb he is. You know, right along with, with Uncle Will carrying on her about her two years of service when it's 19, 19 years of service. Look, guys, I'm done with this video, but you see what I'm getting at? 100% psychosis. And you are saying something that shouldn't be said, plain and simple. See, you're talking about some of your community and that word is not to be used towards them because just like freedom of speech there's a freedom of marriage there's a so on and so forth i don't need to say no more and i'm sure that they're gonna let you know that that word was wrong as well anyways guys creek squad salute to you guys youtube family your boy deuces out red rebel nation i love all you guys anyways guys deuces i'm out